title, War Horse Lottery Draw. And first into the box is a set of tickets, LRC. Look at Ooh. all those tickets come in. How amazing. And that shows how hard you have worked at making sure you were in green all this hard term and last hard term. I can barely get all of them out. <laughs> Remember, this shows how many books have been read across Key Stage 3. With students who are in green every week getting two raffle tickets per week and students who are in amber getting one ticket. making sure that I give every last one out and to confirm that it's an empty box, the box is empty and I'm just passing it over and that will be adjudicated on by special uh, people brought in from the National Lottery at great expense and the next box is the one from the English room using these special scissors and these have been independently verified as scissors that's <laughs> <laughs> you can see that's an enter Really, really great rollers. Make sure everything is absolutely Got to tilt it over. <laughs> <laughs> that has been officially all mixed up. We're going to get that independently adjudicated as being officially, independently mixed up. <laughs> and I think we're ready for tonight's draw. Albert Narakot do solemnly swear that we shall be together again.
Bradford, a city with a population of over half a million people. The first UNESCO city of film, a rich industrial and cultural heritage, entrepreneurial spirit, and one of the fastest growing youth populations in the country. But there's one thing the city is known for more than anything else. Curry. 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 Get thee to Bradford, the curry capital of Britain. Mabeen Akram, year nine, well done. The next person going through to Bradford is Yousaf Da. Well done, Yousaf. Maria Shah. Well done. The next winner is Huma Arshad, 9G. Well done, Huma. Come on. I don't think uh, what's his face would do this, would he? Um, Dale, 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 Dale Winton. <laughs> Dale Winton would be flagging at this stage, would he? He'd still be excited. Oh, you that, <laughs> that bloke, yeah. <laughs> and next up, going through to Bradford is. Zainamwa! That was better, that wasn't it? That was, that I felt like, I felt like a star there. The next winner of the Alhambra trip is Azif Ahmed. And Azif, a special mention, because I think that's the only ticket you have had in this year. Going through to see the fantastic production of War Horse with us is Adam Livesey in year nine. Well done. And the next winner is Eve Abrams, year nine. Well done, Eve. And for this next prize, we know this next prize will not only get a seat at the famous war horse, but they get to sit upstairs on the single decker coach. It is Fraz Bashir in year nine. Well done, Fraz. You've been to London, Paris, New York, and Milan, and now, finally, you get to come to Bradford. Pavel, you know the rest of your name, Pavel. Well done, Pavel. And all of tonight's winners should be really proud at how much they've been reading, and well done for staying in green. And the next person coming through to eat at Omar Khan's famous curry house is Martina Stazinska in 9P. Well done, Martina. Remember, all those books you've read, added up to tickets, tickets mean prizes, and the prize is War Horse. Ikra Big. Remember, the National Media Museum isn't the only National Museum in Bradford. There's also the National Museum of Grime, and also the National Museum of Furry Things. Oh, controversial. That is a blank ticket. That is a blank ticket drawn out there. <laughs> and the next person coming to Bradford is Tiber Ahmed in year nine. Well done. <laughs> 